Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Susan Pruitt Bollinger, Knoxville, Tennessee. God's Vengeance Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den. No manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. And the king commanded, They brought those men which had accused Daniel. They cast him into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had the mastery of them, and brake their bones in pieces, or ever they came at the bottom of the den. Daniel 6, 23-24 As I was praying, the Lord brought a vision before me. As I stood in the throne room, it jumped out of nowhere, a massive lion. There was blood dripping from his mouth, and his tongue lapped it up. He looked at me and said, It is done. Your enemies are no more. You will never see them again. Daniel was unjustly accused and sentenced to death by being thrown into the lion's den. But the Lord protected him. He used those very lions as pillows that night. They kept him warm and comfortable until dawn. When King Darius came for Daniel, he released him, and immediately he had those who had unjustly accused Daniel, including their wives and children, thrown into the lion's den, and the lions pounced on them and devoured them. When we wait upon the Lord to fight our battles and not take matters into our own hands, victory will come every time, and it will be sweet. Place your trust in the Lord. He will come through for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word from our sister Susan. Lord Jesus, that you would have vengeance on our enemies. Lord Jesus, I thank you that when we choose not to fight in our own strength, when we choose not to meet eye for an eye, Father, but when we let go and let you have your way, I thank you for the victory that we have. I thank you for the testimonies that we have. Lord, I pray for my friend. Lord, for those areas of life where we're thinking about maybe we should do this or maybe we should do that. Unless, Holy Spirit, you confirm it, we don't want to do it. We want to let go and let you, Father, fight our battles for us. We want you, Father, to have your way. Have your vengeance, Father. May we be like Daniel. May, may our enemies become like pillows for us to keep us warm and comfortable. Love that. Lord, I thank you that you, you will deal with those who act unjustly against us. We put our trust in you to fight our battles. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.